while we're on the topic of taking drugs to lose weight, I recently have been on like a diet all year trying to get right. Okay. And so what do you think is a healthy amount of weight to lose using a weight loss drug specifically? Because that seems like it's kind of a difficult question to, to really ascertain. I mean, I would tell you, man, that, you, you know, there there's two parts of that. It's like, what is like the bottom weight for you? And is there an issue with losing weight too quickly? Um, I mean, there are issues when you lose weight too quickly because it can start to affect other things like your GI tract and like, you know, your bowel habits and all that. So, I mean, you want to be smart about how you lose weight. You know, I've seen people that get weight loss surgery and lose weight really quickly end up having issues. Um, and so I think with the weight loss drugs though, that they're probably not going to work so fast that you're going to get in trouble. So I think that that question, you're probably safe. I don't, I haven't seen people lose weight so quickly on those that it's a problem, but as far as like, what is your ideal weight? I mean, you know, that's something that you could calculate pretty easy. There's like the BMI charts and you want to pick something that's going to fall in the, you know, 20 to 25 range is your ideal. Um, and, and that doesn't mean that you can't be totally happy if you're higher than that. I mean, I just would say that that's kind of like your target zone. Yeah. And so, you know, it's something that we could, I could calculate that for you. you. Get your height and like look at a BMI chart and say, yeah, your weight should probably be around so you know somewhere in this vicinity. Mm -hmm. But I mean, everyone's different, right? Because, you know, if you have a bigger bone structure, then your weight's going to be different. If you're like me and I have like this like really small frame, and so it, it really just varies on person to person. And Ziggy, man, I'm happy to like. You know, after the show, we'll like figure it out and, you know, kind of say, okay, this is kind of where your target should be. And then, um, as far as, uh, you know, how you get there, I mean, so do you mind asking what drug are you taking or uh, I'm, I'm not taking uh, drugs at all. Just, oh. just on a diet. Oh, on uh, diet. I'm sorry. Yeah. I misunderstood you. No, you're good. I, I just think it, like, is there like a difference health wise trying to do it quote unquote naturally versus taking drugs to do man it, right? i'll tell you i am a i'm a believer in simplicity and so i think that if you could lose weight on your own with diet and exercise it's going to be your best bet because yeah. you're not introducing something into your body to do it right it, it, it you know I, I believe it or not i'm the plastic surgeon that would tell you if you can lose your weight on your own don't get liposuction i mean why complicate things with a procedure or why complicate things with a medication but the reality is a lot of people can't do it yeah i know that for fact i've had like five pounds i've been trying to lose for like nine months and i just can't get rid of it because i just am not consistent i'm not working out you know yeah. i'm not being as active as i used to i do eat pretty good but i mean you know i mean obviously i'm not overweight but i would like to thin down a tiny bit and like i just can't do it because I just haven't set my mind to it. Yeah. So, you know, I understand that there are people who can't lose the weight and the medication is their solution or they can't get the look they want. And so plastic surgery is a solution. As long as it's safe, man, I'm all for it. You know, right. I mean, I bet it has to be safe. And so to answer your question, but I mean, yeah, if you can lose it on your own, great, do it. But if you can't, there are alternatives out there that can help you as, and, and you just want to make sure they're done safely. And that's why I think that taking those drugs, it's important to, um, you know, to have a doctor involved. Yes. So.